Alright. Good morning, right. welcome to Car Rides with Connor. The time is 7.01 a.m. Tuesday, April 9th. And it is pouring. Yep. But what did we say this morning? Uh, April showers bring May flowers. Mm -hmm. And we got our new mugs. And no matter what anybody says, May is still technically spring. Yep, it's not summer. Show our mugs from our trip. I've got Los Angeles. And I got Hollywood. Because you are a superstar. Yep. Celebrity man. Hollywood. But today is Tuesday, which means we've got trash on the hood of the car. Yep. Who's going to get out to put it on? Not it. Okay, wait a minute. I've got an umbrella and hand sanitizer. Let's just... Right. Maybe I'll do... I'll... All right. Fine. So as how you're too scared to get your hands dirty. Uh, listen, I am anxiously awaiting your return mm. with hand sanitizer. So even if you do get your hands dirty, the trash is moderately overflowing. Oh God, there's the But bus. that's because as we haven't done it in a while. Right, so I think you have to be strategic in your bag placement. So I just wanna, I know we're already late, but it is what it is. This, this cardboard box from your sister's cookies goes in the pink top. Yeah, I know. Those two, Godspeed. And do you want to do this piecemeal? I do have an umbrella here, for here, you. Here, throw her hold, at me. Hold this. I'll hold yeah. that. Give me your other stuff to stay dry. Here. Here's an umbrella. Okay. I bid you all the good luck. I make my own luck. Okay. Make your own luck. Pop the umbrella. Does it work? Yes. Yes, King. Go. He hates this. He's like, why do you always put the trash on the hood of the car? I really need to try to flip this camera. Let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? Why? Why would it find me? Oh, wish you could see. Wait. Maybe I can pop it out of here. Hold on. Let's see. There's the trash on the hood. There he is. Mad as hell. Look at our trash. That's ridiculous. That's embarrassing. Oh my God, the garbage people are gonna hate us. I don't know if this is even picking up, but okay, let's get the camera back before I get yelled at for doing that. Oh gosh, massive technical difficulties here, people. There we go, you saw my hand up close, yay. Okay, let's get her done. <coughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Toss it on the floor. Gosh, I hope they have raincoats at work. Here you go. Rub together. Thank you, sir. Gosh, it is not. This is called in the stars, because you know what? You're a star. Thank you for doing that. It always just feels good to get the trash like super out. Get yourself in a position where we're comfortable. It is what it is. Everybody's yeah. gonna be caught in traffic on a rainy day. Yeah. Okay, I'll hold her while you try to eat your donut because we're already gonna have a wiper situation with her. I think you guys know from previous episodes, Coco takes the windshield wipers as a personal affront to Connor's safety. <sighs> and she tries to protect Connor from the wipers. Tell me, Mom, what is the... <clears throat> what is the lowest member? What creature is the lowest member of the food chain and will probably be replaced by the rat? The, the cockroach? The gopher. A gopher? Yeah, didn't you ever see Caddyshack? You know, that is one movie. You want to grab your coffee so we don't spell it. Uh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? That's one movie I don't think I've seen. Here we go. No, you you've can't never, get with Connor. You've ah. never seen Caddyshack? Look, she's trying to protect Connor. Look. Heck. Watch her. She gets so mad at these windshield wipers. <laughs> Mom, watching Bill Murray pit himself against a gopher is probably one of the most fun. It's probably the funniest moment. We are on the struggle. Okay, Coco, <laughs> enough. The wipers are not going to kill Connor. Coco. Why are we on the struggle bus this morning with our camera? I have no idea. All right. We've been in the car for four minutes and 50 seconds. We haven't gotten out of the driveway. What is wrong with us? Okay. Shall we get this party yes, started? Yes. 
do you want to put her with me or in the back? Uh, in the back. You know what? You're getting voted off the island. Sorry, come on, Coke. Watch this. This is where you have to go, sweetheart. Sorry, Coke. Let Connor eat. Let us talk. Yes. All, All right, right, homeboy. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Connor came back from Los Angeles with a little bit of a sore throat, didn't you, bud? I had a... Uh, hopefully it's not a virus. Well, even if you caught a little bug on the plane, or we came back to Georgia and it was covered in a blanket of pollen, so yeah. it genuinely could be that you've got... You know... No. Got allergies, <laughs> which is a legitimate the, thing. In the words of Robert De Niro... Thank God for the rain. It washes all that crap off the sidewalk. One day, a, a real rain, or was it a big rain, is gonna wash all this scum off the street. Loneliness follows me wherever I go. That's I, what I am God's lonely man. Well, there you go. Robert De Niro, taxi driver. There you go. So, we are back in Georgia where you are very happy. You made it yes. known last week that you don't want to leave the state for a long time. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love, love the city of New York and, and I do love Los Angeles. I thought both were marvels of modern architecture, engineering, and civil engineering, and, and, and Hollywood, the dream factory. <clears throat> the dream factory? Is that the what it's known as? Or the magic store. <clears throat> Are those uh, nicknames for that city, for real? Well, for Hollywood, at least. This, I remember in the opening lines of Pretty Woman. Did you ever see Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts? And Her... Her yeah, I've, well, I mean, I know I've, 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 I've heard of it, never actually seen it. Holy, scratch the needle on the record. You need to do that. You've got to do that. That's a classic movie, dude. I don't know. I mean, there's so many good lines in that movie that like people use. I don't know. Like my favorite. Do you work on commission? Big mistake. Huge. Like, you don't even know what I'm talking about, and that's iconic. Okay, I'm making a declaration. You and I are going to watch it together. I'm going to make you watch it with me. I don't know. Rom-coms aren't really my thing. Well, all your fictional, non-fiction, no, fictional, draggedy stuff isn't my thing, and I watch it with you. You honestly... <laughs> Can a rom com not be your thing? There's rom and there's com. Two of my most favorite things, roms and coms. Well, I don't know. We haven't. Have we even talked to everybody? And maybe we did last week, but we were so jet lagged and out of it. We've been approved for season three mm. on Netflix, and I uh, believe yours truly over here has been asked back. That's exciting. Yeah, but they say Keith and the director is going to be working with a new crew. Well, that's up to him. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, you pick your co-workers and yeah, yeah. what you've got to do. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, anyway, but we did have some questions. I mean, I mean it's his payroll. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else we have going on? Um... Oh, we do want to talk about really quick. I know we talk about them a lot, but it's really we just really want to make sure we can we can do our community crowd. Connor.media.land for the autism shirts. And I know you guys are sick of me banging on about this, but I just one design is comes from our car rides with Connor. This is who I am and I like it. The other one, um, it's just when we thought of that was a nice message. Please, if you feel inclined, please buy one of those two designs because 100% of the profits are going back into our community and one to a specific organization that helped Connor when he was a child. So, gosh, they mean a lot to us. Right, buddy? Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, somebody did ask about our post office box, which was very kind. You guys are so generous to Connor. 
<coughs> but um, if you do, should I give our address here? I think we've done it before, but I'll do yeah. it again because you're eating. 4920 Atlanta Highway, Suite, so, or STE, 214, Atl Alpharetta, Alpharetta, Georgia, 30004. So 3004. Um, USA, that's where we are. So thank you for asking for that. It's very kind. Um, do you have your phone out? Uh, no. Since you're still eating, another one of the comments, and I can't remember who it was from. We talked about last week how homesick Connor got for little Miss Diva pants in the back seat. Move your arm so we can see her. Look at her. So cute. How do we stand it? She did get fired and get sent to the back seat today. But they made a tote bag for her at Merch Labs where we were touring the facility that makes the t-shirts. And people wanted to see the tote bag. Can I show them? There's the real thing. Coco, look. Look at everybody. And then here is... It's stuck on something. Oh, okay. The tote bag. Is it Coco? Is it a bag? Isn't that cute? Oh, that, that's sweet. Gosh, you were so happy to have this, weren't you? Yeah. You walked all through Disneyland with that bag. Mm -hmm. You were just so happy to have her with you. Mm. Why don't you grab your phone now? Because you said you wanted to stick to questions today. Okay, all right, all right. That's good. So ah, thank you for that. Here, here, here. Jacob at Merch Labs did that. Lovely. Bag for him. Okay, now. So, fire away. Haley Ukusaga writes, I smile so much watching these videos. Question, my son is five years old and will talk a lot in film scripts. Connor, I would love to know how does it make you feel and I should and should I talk back to my son in film too? Would love to know XX. A very fascinating question, Haley. Be, be nice meeting you. So anywho, Talking in film scripts, it kind of makes you feel like you're actually part of the movie, in a way. I've been a fan of movies since I, it was the same age as your son. Anyway. What else does it make you feel like? Like, um... Because that this is a great question, Haley. I've actually thought about this and wondered... Because can I make an observation as your parent? Mm -hmm. I've noticed you sometimes used film scripts when you didn't know what to say to somebody. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you grabbed a movie line to help you be in a conversation. That's my observation, but I could be wrong. Okay, so... No, like, is that true? I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it that. Is, it I've is, seen it is, it is, it is, it is. Well, is it, though? Just, you know, I'm just curious. Oh, it is true. I do often use film scripts whenever I don't know what to say. So you feel like film scripts, <coughs> just correct me if I'm wrong in trying to repeat back what I think I heard. I think I heard you say film scripts make you feel like you're part of the movie, which is exciting to you. Uh huh. And then sometimes film scripts help you bridge conversation that you don't know what to say in. Precisely. Now, the second part of her question is, should she respond in film scripts? I have an opinion about that, but what's your opinion? Well, I mean, I mean, you could, yeah, for fun, but uh, it'll have to be on subject with, with the line, and you probably may have to actually know all the movie it comes from um, in order to know what to say. And as a parent lens of that, when Connor was younger, dude, slow down with all, but get all kinds of stuff happening. Over there. <coughs> sorry, sorry. The coffee isn't going anywhere. You can sip it. Just making sure you don't choke over there. Got me pulling over doing the Heimlich. Um, as a parent, my, my opinion on that, especially at five, is um, that is an age where I felt kind of strongly about disrupting some of that behavior for Connor.
because my experience with Connor, and this is all I can speak to, when he was that age and doing that, I could lose him quickly. And my goal at that age was to teach him to get him to experience share with me, his father, his siblings, and try to keep him co co-experience sharing with us um, and try to disrupt it. Now, obviously there's a balance, but I personally at five would not have spoken back to him in movie scripts. I would have tried to redirect some of that behavior. As an adult now, yeah. Connor has the ability to um, hang in a conversation for quite a bit of time. So when he is doing movie scripts, I do leave him to it because I believe it's a release for you. Yeah. I believe it's some downtime for you. I could be wrong. Yeah. I feel like you tuned down on me. I, I don't, yeah, I'm actually more focused on the rain right now. I could you're like ma. I'm like Charlie Brown's teacher. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. <laughs> you're over there it, it, like it, it, it's weird out and it's on And I'm over here like la, la, la. Yeah. What a freaking pair. Yeah. Okay, hit another comment. Haley, I hope we helped you. Thank you. Uh Daisuke 69 writes. Congrats on the end of, excuse me. Congrats on the anniversary release. Did you get on this? I think this one's for you. Okay, wait. Well. Did you guys get a chance to try In and Out Burgers while you were out there? What about Disney California? Sat it in bumping you guys while you were out there. Hopefully, you guys get a chance to come back again. Well, hey, we hope we come back again. Yeah, we do. Talk about In and Out Burger in Disneyland. Yeah. Well. In and Out Burger, it was it was delicious. Yeah, that's very good. Got the double doubles. Except for me, I got up the single. It's okay. Anywho, as and in Disneyland, one of my favorite theme themes there was Galaxy's Edge, based on Star Wars. Is that where you flew the Millennium Falcon and was yelling at all? You were yelling at all of us. I, I was a pretty good. Good spaceship captain. Yeah, you were yelling at everybody. I was a wonderful engineer, and you tried to throw me in the cargo. That was a joke. Yeah, well, I didn't find it funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, okay, there was another one. Somebody wanted us to congratulate their class. Can you, I want to make sure we do that. All right, let's see. Um, Go through that one. We showed the cocoa bag. <coughs> I think you have allergies, honey. Oh. I think that's what's happening. We're going to get you some allergy medicine. Yeah, um, is there somebody graduating from a paramedic class? Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, read it. Who is it? LOL, right. It's oh. good morning, guys. Love your videos. I'm watching YouTube bond and talk. I have an interview at a, for a university to do a paramedic science course on Wednesday. Oh, and tomorrow. I'm, and I'm so nervous. Okay, don't be nervous. It, as it's my absolute dream to get into this unit and become a paramedic. Okay. I would love of a good luck if you get the chance. Good luck. Well, LOL. Good luck to you. Yeah, here we go. What are you going to say? Inspire her. Uh, and her. Okay. Good luck. Luck to you. Eh. And, uh, well, um,. Uh, Listen, there is no luck. The, okay. Luck occurs when Enough preparation said. meets opportunity. And tomorrow, LOL, is your opportunity for all the preparation you've gotten up to this point. You've Ooh, got look, this. Look at this. Look you've at... got this. Don't be nervous. Okay. It's going to happen. Okay. Please comment and let us know back. Okay. Right? Yeah. We got Cheers, LOL. Yeah, we got Okay. Here we go. Ali Fix Rissell's right. It's... Me and my girlfriend are from Scotland and love still gay. Amazing that <laughs> I thought you'd like that this. Connor. Amazing that Connor watches the show. It's a hilarious show. We always look forward to watching you both. Thanks for the amazing videos. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. It is funny. I love the character you said it was called Manky Frankie. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna call you when you stink. I'm yeah. gonna call you Manky Frankie. Okay. All right, listen. Good, knuckle it up here. Well, no, give me two. Uh, All right. For obvious reasons, I only wanted to use one. Look at, is it cocoa or is it not? Cocoa okay. 
not. All right, all right, yeah. All right, I'll stop my bullshit. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, stay classy, planet Earth. Okay. Who loves you more than me? Nobody. Buddy. All right, get it. Get, please get a raincoat. Please, for God's sake. He is so funny. He's so cute. How do, I mean, do we not just love that guy? I know I'm a giant fan. He went in there talking to himself, so he's, he's on um, a little distracted. I think the allergies is making him not feel so good. Ooh, sorry about that. How they get the defogger going? All right, I, I think I need to chime off. Why, you ask? I need to get gas. I'm down to a quarter of a tank, and I don't like to leave that low. So I'm gonna pull over, get some gas. Then I'm going to the old grindstone. And you know, we had this conversation before, people. And someone's at my favorite gas pump. I'll turn the camera again. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. And I really wish I could find it. That's my favorite pump. Right there where that man is. Looks like he's finishing though. I hope. Because that's my favorite gas pump. And I just, I don't know what my problem is with the other ones. Oh, he is. He's leaving. So good news. I get to go to my favorite gas pump. Yes. Yes, bye. I'm such a creature of habit. I need to be at this one. It's just a comfortable pull-up. That's what I feel. No, no offense to you, gas pump, but this is my gas pump right here. Good old pump one. I didn't even know it was called pump one, but that's what I love. It's my faith. All right, guys. Thank you. Crappy weather on this Tuesday, April the 9th. Um, oh, here she is. Little rule breaker. Um, so we wish you a very happy Tuesday. Just as a quick aside before I really sign off, I had Jack pick my car up for me from work yesterday and take it to get completely washed, inside cleaned. I was so happy driving home from work. It was like 70, sunny. I had the sunroof open, clean car. Mm -hmm. So I guess everybody here in Metro Atlanta can blame me for this rain because I spent money to clean my car yesterday. That's my fault. But anyway, we love you guys. Have a super Tuesday. And um, Coco and her twin <laughs> will see you later. And thanks again. Keep sending comments. And if I'm missing your comments and questions, it's I'm sorry, we do love them, we read them. I tried to heart all of them. It's just hard to get get all of them handled. So um, we're doing our best to interact with you guys. We love it, we love it. So happy Tuesday, have a great day. I'm getting gas and going to work, bye.